hello guys um welcome to another video so we're going to be looking at activity 13c so the question says open the file activity 13c.rtf in a suitable software package merge all cells in the top row into a single cell so we're interested in the top row the cell in the top uh, row right first first of all um let's open the file Okay, this is activity 13 C. So this is what it looks like. So we have the top row here. So this is the top row. So we're going to merge it. So I'll select the top row and then right click and then of course merge cells. All right. So that's for that. Okay. So uh, the under under part of the question says center align the text both horizontally and uh, vertically. So we want to. Uh, get this done center align the text both horizontally and uh, vertically so let me so it's already horizontally um, center aligned right yes and then want to vertically uh, center it too so want to first of all you have to select the row and then of course um, go to layout here and then you want to bring it down to the center vertically right so that is also done now shade this cell uh, with a mid gray background color all right so let's get this done too so we want to as a selected like this we want to go to table design we want to go to shading from shading i want to pick uh, somewhere here the back uh, the shading should be some gray middle uh, gray so i think this should serve for it Okay, that done. So merge cells one and two, and uh, merge cells uh, three and four in row two of the table. So let's do all. Okay, so cell one and two, cells one and two, and merge also cells uh, three and four. So let's go. So this is uh, cells one and two. And it has to be in row two, I suppose. Yeah, in row two of the table. So I want to select this, so I want to merge them, right click and then merge. Okay. And then um, cells 3 and 4, these cells 3 and 4. Uh, let me use layout and then merge. Alright, so I think that is done. So center align all, all text in row 2, in row 2, horizontally. So let's see. So they are already all center aligned as a matter of fact okay they are all center aligned so let this be sure so they are all center aligned right so we're good um so center aligned so i think okay so this is it we've done this so shade all three cells shade all three cells in this row with a light uh gray background shoot all three cells so we have um, all three okay so let's select all three cells in which row in this row which is the row two as a matter of fact right so you want to go to table design and then from shading you want to take something a little lighter right so let me take this okay so that's for that so i've done that so i'll shade it off so merge cells one in both rows five and six rows five and six okay so let me see let me just first of all uh one two three four five okay so rows one so this is five and six so i'm going to merge them both uh, merge this and then uh, the second uh merge cell uh sorry mid cell two in both uh, rows five and six so cell two here i have both of them five and six so it's two so i want to right click on it and then of course merge right good so i want to what's that what else format each cell in rows three to six as it specifies in the table okay mm, okay so let me just as for let me uh, highlight this i've done this 
So the last one will be format each cell, sorry, format each cell in rows three uh, to six as it specifies in the table. Okay, so um, here, so what we're going to do for this question is whatever that is specified here, we want to use. So for vertical alignment, whatever that is specified here, we want to get it done with this, something like that, under vertical alignment. So the first one here. Is already uh, the text here is already uh, is already top aligned to the uh, top edge. So I think I don't have to do anything here. So this one is middle. So we want to uh, send it to the middle. So of course, using the layout here, we want to take it to the middle. Okay. Um, yeah, vertically. Okay. So I want to get it. Let me get it down. We're not interested in. We want to leave it the way it is. Sorry. I just took it back the way it was. So I want to just take it to the middle. That's all vertically. Okay. So I think that's what the question says. So I want to take it to the middle, center it to the middle, you know, something like that. Okay. So this next one, so I still want to leave it, um, I, I want to leave it like this, but I want to take it to the bottom. Okay. Uh, leaving it, um, you know, vertically aligned to the uh, middle, uh, sorry, to the bottom. Okay, without messing up with the horizontal alignment. So for the horizontal alignment here, we want to apply this to the left. Okay, so horizontal alignment, we want to apply this to the left. So I, so I think it's already at the left horizontally. Okay, so we're not interested in this. So center aligned, so we're interested in just making it center aligned horizontally. So I'm just going to take it to the center. So right aligned, I want to right align it, okay, horizontally, and then of course uh, justify, where is justify, so I'm going to go home from home, I want to take um, fully justified, I want to fully justify that, which is what it is here, um, yeah, so for the border, border and grid line, so this cell is going to have a thick three point borders on this cell, so I want to make sure I click on the cell or maybe select whatever. So uh, just click on the cell, that's fine. And then right click and then go to table properties. Now you want to go to borders and shading. Now from borders and shading, you want to actually select from uh, the width. You want the width to be three point. And then you also want it to be just on the cell. Okay, you just want it just on that particular cell. So you okay that. And then okay okay so i wouldn't know why this is selecting the rest of them so what i'm going to do i'm going to go to uh table design from table design i want to take border style i want to take the first one which is uh, one point okay i want to make sure that it's removed so when you click and drag across then you can take it back to the half point sorry okay so you press a uh, uh, escape key to escape from that uh, you know, border style formatting. All right, so that's for that. So for this particular uh, cell, no right border on this um, this cell. So you also want to, so let me just use a border. So, okay, good. My cursor is, is uh, blinking inside that cell. I want to go to border, I want to go to border style. So this is another way to do, to get to that um, borders and shading. So I don't, I don't want any um, border at the right of on on, the, on this uh, cell the right uh, border sorry yeah so I want to make sure that there's no right border here right um, what's next so I want to apply it to the cell just to the cell and then click OK and that's it so this other one um, we're supposed to apply it so let me also use let me use um okay so let me just go to Sorry, let me go to border. Let me apply the bottom for the bottom for that particular cell. So it kind of messed up. So let me just repeat. Uh, having uh, three points, sorry, three points um, border around it. Okay. So I want it on the cell. Yes. So that it can apply. So I will do the same thing. Remove this. Okay. Remove this. All right. So press uh, escape. 
so that's for that so here also no top or right or bottom border on this cell okay mm, okay so let's go back to border and then ensure that our cursor is blinking inside please that's to place a cursor inside that cell um so no top border so want to remove the top border right want to remove the right border okay want to remove the bottom border right and then we want to make sure it's applied on that particular cell where our cursor is blinking and then i will okay that okay so that's for that so top right and bottom no border right good so no right so for this particular sorry for my thing for this particular um cell it says no right border on this cell okay so want to remove this border at the right so the same thing go back to brass and shading you want to ensure that the right border is not there so and then i want to make sure it applies on the cell and then okay that so it gives us it gives us uh, this so i think i'll remove i'll remove the top border sorry the bottom border for this particular one yeah bottom border I want to remove uh, top and then the right just to maintain exactly what the question says so this is how it's gonna look okay so i think i'm done with that so we're done with everything here so the next thing is to replace the text your name with your name okay so i'm going to go back there so i'm going to replace the text with my name my name is sec uh, let me start from the ikechuku that's my name okay so this is what it's going to look like so this will give you an idea on how to actually format table if you're done with this activity okay so that's about it please if you have any any comment leave a comment down below if you have any suggestion please i would love to hear from you thank you so much i will see you in the next one bye okay so um first of all before i go let's save this our work please so let's save this our work uh, so i'm going to go to file from file i want to go to save us and then browse uh i want to browse for where are my tasks um my 13 tasks so i want to save it as a word document active 13 c all right so that's it thank you so that's it so i'll save that yes all right so that's it thank you so much i will see you in the next one bye